Solve this equation. X to the power of x equals five. Hmm. What shall we do? In our first step, of course, we can take a natural logarithm on the both sides. So the natural log of x to the power of x equals the natural log of five. So that means that every time when we meet an exponential form, we can take natural logs on the both sides. Then what shall we do? Of course, we have a formula. We have a famous formula, that is, the natural log of a to the power of b equals b times the natural log of a. Very good. Then we can use this formula on our left hand side. So it's going to be x to the power of the natural log of x equals the natural log of five. So that means our equation has been simplified a lot. Then what shall we do? Now we will use a function, the Lambert W function, or the product logarithm. So it is called the Lambert W function. It is also called the omega function or the product logarithm. So what is actually Lambert W function or the product logarithm? It is the inverse function of our this function, y equals x times e to the power of x. Since this function is not an elementary function, so it cannot find its inverse function by basic algebra methods. So what is it? It is the Lambert W function. It says the Lambert W function of x times e to the power of x, or this function, is just equal to x. It may be confusing that our this x is not the same as our this x in our context. So, what shall we do now? Of course, we can write it like this: the Lambert W function of t times e to the power of t equals t. Then, it's going to be okay. So just remember this one: t can be anything. So that means you can replace t with anything. For example, the Lambert W function of a flower times e to the power of the flower equals the flower. Our right hand side is pretty cool, just a constant. However, our left hand side is a little bit uglier. So what shall we do? Now I'm gonna write this x. As e to the power of natural log of x, so it's going to be the natural log of x times this x is going to be e to the power of the natural log of x. Because we have to relate our left hand side to our Lambert W function to our t times e to the power of t, so it's going to be like this. Now we can find out that our left hand side just has the form of our Lambert W function. It is t times e to the power of t, and what's t? t is just the natural log of x. So does it mean? It means that if we take the Lambert W function on the both sides, the left hand side is gonna be the natural log of x, and the right hand side is the Lambert W function of the natural log of five. Lambert W function of a constant is a constant. So, what does it mean? The left hand side is an elementary function, and the right hand side is a constant. The natural log of x equals a number. So, what is x? X is e to the power of this number. Lambert W function of natural log of five. Now, if you simply want to find the real solutions. You can add a zero here because the Lambert W function has many branches. Since the natural log of five is greater than zero, so the Lambert W function of the natural log of five provides us with only one real result. So you just put a zero here, just as a label. And if you want all the solutions, all the complex solutions, then 
you can forget the zero and just write the W of the natural log of 5. So this is the solution. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more wonderful questions. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.